Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. I'm standing outside. This is the nuclear reactor, the little mini nuclear plant. See, it's got the double electrical bars, cameras pointed up at us over there. Can you see them? See cameras. And guess what? Right behind me is all the tailgaters to the game. They're going into the game. I actually just finished throwing some footballs with those guys over there. One of those guys threw me a football. He hit the tree once and I missed it once. That was fun. But I did get to throw the ball to him, which I love to do. That's fun. So anyways, here we are. Oh wow, look at that. And see right across the street from over there? That's the EPA building. So this is where they generate the nuclear energy and do a lot of their research. And here at OSU, people are quite proud of this building. They think it's going to help humanity. And while they don't like what's going on in Fukushima, the reaction I've gotten as I've been walking around asking about it is that it's the Japanese fault. They're not doing anything about it. It's all their fault. While this agency right here puts out nuclear lies and says it's no big deal, no more radiation coming out of Fukushima than a banana. Of course. So, I'm going to be up at Southwest 14th on Southwest Monroe on the corner in the median. It's really actually about a half a mile away. This place was super hard for me to find. I ended up getting in my car and driving around to the other side of town to find it. And it's tucked behind, tucked behind a building, see? I had to walk through here to get to this. So it's tucked behind, tucked behind the building, and over there's the EPA, and there's no sign that it's right here at all. So this is the Triga reactor. And it is a mini reactor. It's a one-third size nuclear reactor, and it looks pretty innocuous. Looks like it's not going to really harm anybody. And what goes on there, it doesn't really harm anyone. And if I hadn't known about Fukushima, if I wouldn't have had that nightmare on May 15th, I honestly, I wouldn't know about it either. So we are talking about Southwest 14th, Southwest Monroe, coming off the 5, head out towards Corvallis, stay on it and take a left at 14th. When you get to Monroe, find a parking spot, you'll see us there. I'll be there by noon. I will not be out here at this reactor. It's quite a ways away and it's way off the beaten path, so I think we'll actually where I ended up being will get a lot more awareness. So I'm going to stick with that location, but this is how they lie to us. This is what it makes it look like. Pretty innocuous, like it's not harmful at all. And those of us that are concerned, we must be off our net. Let's check this out. Here's these guys. Partying down from the Washington Huskies. I guess that's who they're playing. I wonder if these guys know they've been fucking radiated half to death. Anyways, I'm going to head home. I have homework to do. Try you guys. I'm going to upload this later. Uh, remember, nuclear is radiation. Radiation is cancer. Nuclear is cancer. We are many. They are few. We can stop them. And we can demand that the science figure out what to do with the waste and how to heal our Pacific Ocean. It's super sad. Here we are. That's the agricultural buildings over there. Ironic, isn't it? Chalk.